All right, welcome to this scene on methotrexate, represented by the metal T-Rex over here in our scene. We see his body is made of metal, so he's the metal T-Rex. Metal T-Rex for methotrexate. So this metal T-Rex broke into the DNA lab. In this lab, they produce DNA, but they also randomly have this pile of foliage on the floor. The employees are so busy with their work that they don't clean up this pile of foliage. This pile of foliage reminds us of folate and the fact that the dinosaur in our scene, the baby dinosaur, was lighting the foliage on fire reminded us of the mechanism of methotrexate. And that's that it's a folate inhibitor, specifically a dihydrofolate reductase inhibitor. So methotrexate leads to reduced levels of folate. And of course, therefore, DNA synthesis, since folate is required for DNA synthesis. Which brings us to the next part of our scene. This device, which is used in the lab to produce DNA, but here it's defective, and therefore DNA synthesis cannot occur. So again, methotrexate leads to reduced levels of folate and therefore to DNA synthesis inhibition. Now because methotrexate is a DNA synthesis inhibitor, we want to use it where we want to reduce DNA synthesis. For example, in cancers, of course, we want to prevent the mitotically active cancer cells from growing. We want to use methotrexate in abortion to stop the growing fetus. This can include an ectopic pregnancy where we want to stop the growing fetus from growing inside the fallopian tube or in other places. And just as a side note, a nursing mother should not be taking methotrexate as it could actually go through the breast milk and harm the baby. But anyway, back to our scene over here, R is for rheumatoid arthritis. Methotrexate is the first line disease modifying agent to treat rheumatoid arthritis. Now in this lab over here, they like to have this anatomy model to show what DNA synthesis can accomplish. It could create a person. But this anatomy model over here just reminds us of important adverse effects of methotrexate. Stomatitis, where there's inflammation of the oral mucosa, potentially leading to ulceration. Pulmonary fibrosis, which could potentially lead to bloody vomiting. Hepatotoxicity, which is probably the most well-known and most tested on adverse effect. Doctors need to be aware of patients' serum liver levels while prescribing a patient with methotrexate. And nephrotoxicity. Methotrexate is not only hepatotoxic, but also nephrotoxic. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this scene on methotrexate. Take care.